Uh, the first thing I always do is I Google, uh, what's it called, Rich Snippet Testing Tool. And this is a tool that Google has that allows you to see if you're verified as an author. Um, let me actually go back. Do you see these search results? I can see these folks' picture here. That's what we're trying to accomplish. So, so everything that you guys post on your site, you're kind of registered with Google as an author. But then we also want to make sure that your business profile is registered. So I'm going to go to this kind of snippet tool deal here. So you, I'm just going to throw your website into this little tool. And then it's going to come back and tell me, okay, so we're not verified as an author or as a publisher. Does that make sense? So, what, so let me show you what a, one that I just verified would look like. So once you verify these properly, this tool will come back and say, that's the wrong site. It'll come back and say, okay, it's verified as an author, verified as a publisher. So the way, the, the way you make that happen, there are two things that you need to do. The first thing you need to do is you need to have a Google Plus profile for you as a person. Do you see my screen right now? So when you click on profile, um, you know all you have to do is click up here in the upper left corner when you're in a Gmail or Google account. You want to make sure you use the same Google account you have for other Google services so you're not bouncing all around. You're in Google Plus. You know, it'll, if you haven't set up in the Google Plus, I'll just walk you through a really quick one, two, three. You add a photo, so you've been this far, right? In Google Plus. Okay. So when you click on Profile down here in this menu, you click on Profile, and it brings up, um, you know, your own Google Plus profile, and then you click on Edit Profile. You see right here. Click on Edit Profile, and there's a section of your profile called um, Contributor To. Do you see this? You click, you click on Contributor To. Well, I'm going to send you this video anyway. Um, but you click on Contributor To, and you want to make sure you add your website. So you'd want to say, you know, you want to add your website exactly how it is. So if it's www on your site, you want to add that there. If it's not, then you don't. Um, you want to add it exactly as on your site and you hit save okay so you go to a contributor to you add your website you hit save now the way that the way that that ties in with your website in WordPress so this is the first the second step of authorship the way it ties in with your website is if you come into your website itself when you log into WordPress you go to users and it shows me all the users that are that are linked into your site, right? So what I would do is I would go, and I'll, we we could do this part for you, but there's a place in WordPress where you can put your Google Plus link right here, okay? And all you have to do is is you know paste that Google Plus um, link into here. So I can so I go. We'll do that. We'll do that part because you have to be an admin. So all you need to do is set up the Google Plus. But if I see if I look here back at my Google Plus profile, it says contributor to has all my websites. Okay. Now, do you see how there's a page called About here? And up here, if I look at my URL, it says plus dash Google yada 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 about. So I just copy that page. I go back to my website, which we'll do this part. And now, if I was to save this, it would it would know that 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 you are the author. Okay. Now, there's a second part that that will help you with. The second piece is is if you go to now we're going to talk about you know the importance of setting up a Google Plus for the business. So back when we back when we looked at Google's uh, um, structured tool, you just go to um, you know, google.com slash webmasters 
slash tools slash rich snippets where you can just go ahead and Google and type in testing tool. Um, but you'll see that we, need it. We, we just told you how to do the author part, but there's also something called publisher. All that means is the company itself. And the way you do that is once you're logged in, you go to, um, you go down here to this menu on the left, and you go to pages. Do you see where I am right now? And I'm going to type in, I can go to Geek Free Marketing and look at my business page. So what you're looking at right now is actually a business page. So if I was to come in here and for your business and say, um, I'm going to look up Echo Performance Builders. And I'm going to say Concord. I would see that your, your profile comes up. Now what we need to do is the first step is usually most businesses will be in here already. Again, we just went to pages and then we did a search for Echo Performance Builders. Most businesses will already be in here um, and there's a couple steps that need to happen. Number one is you need to claim, you need to click on this button. I'm not going to do it because I want somebody on your team to do this, but you would click on manage this page and that's kind of claiming your profile, right? Yeah, and then what they'll do is they'll just send you a postcard in the mail with a little pin code, and you're off to the races. You're good to go. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my business profile to show you, because um, so, I've already set mine up and I already own this. So the way we authenticate the business with Google Plus is I just go back here. So I'm gonna so I can go to my edit profile just like we did for your personal page. We're gonna edit profile, and I can come in here, and I can add my website. Okay. Now, the last step is so we've done the personal profile, we've we've gone to the about section and added the website, and we've gone to WordPress and edit. Now, when you claim your business page and you put your website in here. The last thing that we're going to need to do is we use a plugin on your website, an SEO plugin called Yoast um, SEO for WordPress. And we're going to we, we'll do this part for you. But if you know if you're an admin or somebody else is watching this video, here's all you need to do: you go to you go into the SEO part. We would just say titles and there's a place, there's a tab here called home and this is really cool, it just ask for your Google publisher page and all you need to do is is just like we did before is come in here and so you go to your um, done editing, just like with your, you go to the about page so it's plus.google, a bunch of weird letters and numbers and then about and by taking that and simply putting it in here, the publisher page, now when you go to the structured data tool, you do a test on your website. Um, you know, if I go to my website, I want to make sure that everything's cool. I hit preview. And I'm verified as an author and as a publisher. So what so the, the benefit of that is obviously if I go to Google and I say like this uh San Diego criminal lawyers, I go to Google, I can see there's a huge benefit because someone types in, you know, conquered home energy and and it does help your search rankings because you're authenticated with and verified with Google, but also you get to show your photo and um and that kind of thing. So that's how you authentic authenticate for Google.